today I'm heading from Langkawi to Georgetown. Now there used to be a ferry which took you directly from this island to the island of Penang where Georgetown is, but that stopped running before Covid and it's never started up again. So the only alternative is either a flight or the cheap way, which is what I'm doing, which is going to involve a taxi, a ferry, a bus, a train and then another ferry. So this could be an interesting journey. First thing I need to do is order myself a grab to take me to the ferry port. Well, we're not off to the best of starts, I've ordered a grab. He's only two minutes around the corner and he's not bloody moved yet. This is bloody ridiculous, it's been five minutes, he's not even moved. He's accepted the bloody job and then he's just parked there. Right, because that driver bloody left me waiting for 15 bloody minutes, now I've not got much time. I need to get some food. There's a subway here. Is that even open? Yes it is. Or well, there's this place called Bread Story. I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks a bit sweet. Maybe I'll try the uh, subway. Not had a subway in bloody years. I've got about 10 minutes before I need to uh, go and uh, meet the guy who I booked all this trip with he um yeah he's basically organized the whole thing now I don't know I don't know if, I, if I've been scammed we'll find out I guess it may be that I just get on the ferry get on the other side and then there's no one there to pick me up but well it was like 13 13 quid to get the ferry, the bus, the train and the ferry. Actually no, the last ferry is, uh, I have to pay for that one. But it's only a couple of ringgit apparently. So yeah, just going to wait out here for a bit. I've got myself a sandwich, my first subway in bloody years. I haven't looked interested. Just had a WhatsApp message from the guy who booked me onto this uh, package. And he's just basically said, no hurry just get here in the next few minutes so let's see how it goes taxi wasn't the best of starts but it did get me here on time i've got a sandwich so no problem I would have liked to buy a coffee but i think this is the guy actually in the green shirt there we are hello how are we doing uh, good to see you again oh back to wearing masks again the guy is very friendly, so I'm really hoping it's not a scam and he's just super friendly because he's a scammer. I don't think he will be. Um, I've got a photo and a contact number of the guy that's meeting me on the other side and he's got a photo of me, so... Just sat down to eat my sandwich and they've started boarding. So at least we should be getting off on time then. This looks like the ferry. That's where I'm heading. Thank you. Well, I made it onto the ferry, all straightforward. Got a decent seat. I didn't realise that it was uh, you got an uh, allocated seat. And got right at the front so I can watch a DVD. I've no idea how long this ferry will take. I think it might be about an hour, just over an hour or something. Right, time to sit back and relax. No, 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 I'm, someone's picking me up. Yes, oh, so, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice one. Well, the guy was there waiting for me, and I almost told him to bugger off. I thought he was trying to get me in a taxi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just got to wait for one more guy now, and then see what happens next. Right, so we're at the train station. I think the train is actually 
in about an hour and a half. I think this guy's just going to go and buy my ticket. I'll tell you about the, uh, how much I paid for this and how much I could have done it by myself in a second. Let me get my ticket first. Well, I have like an hour to wait for my train. And to be honest, I could have done all this by myself. I've just had a look at um, the schedule online and the train cost 11 ringgit, which is just over two quid. I've paid about 13 quid to have this all organised for me. The ferries are next to nothing. So yeah, I reckon I could have probably done it for about six or seven quid, something like that. But I suppose I haven't had to worry about organising times and, and making, you know, trying to find all the correct schedules and stuff like that. All that's been organised for me. So that's okay. And I've actually, you know, three people have earned a little bit of money from me today. And it's cost me like 13 quid to get from, um, where was I, Lankawi to Butterworth, which will then be another little short ferry ride. And so, yeah, I don't mind. It's all gone to plan. So, cheers, man. So here we are. I've just looked at the ferry ticket and it cost more than I thought. It was like 27 ringgit, which is over five pounds. So over five pounds plus two pounds something for the train ticket, seven pound odd. And the guy's just brought me in his car. I thought I was getting a bus, but he drove me here in his car. Now if I'd have got a taxi, that would have been at least five pounds. So it would have cost me about 12 pound. I only paid £13 to have the whole thing organised and that was it, including three guys who one put me on the ferry, next one found me then took me to the guy who then drove me here. Now, I could have saved a bit of money I suppose by getting a bus but there's just no hassle, I'm just here. So it's actually not cost me much more than if I'd have just done it all by myself. And the guy who I booked it from keep sending me messages all along the way of photos of me and the next guy who's picking me up and he just sent me a message saying take care have a good journey so brilliant can't fault it at all I'm just pulling into Butterworth now and there's a ferry in six minutes. I don't think I'm gonna get that one. And then the next one after that is half an hour. Oh this uh, ferry terminals further away than I thought. I've gone through a mall, I've gone through bloody tunnels and everything. It's not easy to find though. Everything's signposted. Sorry, so now I need to go back down now. So I got here, it's 4.37, so I missed the ferry by 7 minutes. The next one's at 5. Got my ticket, and it cost 1.2 ringgit. So it's about 22p. Free Wi-Fi zone. Got power points all over the place with the USBs as well. Final leg of the journey then. The ferry from Butterworth to Penang to Georgetown. Here we are then, Georgetown, my favourite place in Malaysia last time, yes. I've got about, well it was 18 minutes walk from the station, so probably just over 10 minutes now. And this is all built up, this area, but just at the other side of this is Little India. I might head down there tonight for some tandoori chicken. Oh yes, tandoori chicken. Last time we were here, there was street food selling samosas for like 10 pence. I thought it was wonderful. And here's the entrance to Little India.
Thought I could start smelling a few spices. We've got the Bollywood music playing. The first sign of Little India. Spice Mart here. Oh yes, it's good to be back in Georgetown. Just behind me on the other side of the road, there's two big pieces of street art. Georgetown is just filled with amazing street art. But that's for later. Absolutely amazing around here. My hotel's not far away, so I'm not far from Little India. This dog ain't got a clue where he's going. And this is the first one of these that I've seen. There are about 60 of these around the town, and each one represents something relating to that street. Right now we're on Julia Street, which it says was one of the something streets no oh, i can't be asked reading that we'll do that another day oh, i know where i am now this is love lane down here which is where all the bars are street food on here and my hostel is on this street so i'm right in the center of it all i am not have far to go for food this is the famous local dish char koi tio We'll be trying that while I'm here. What a street. Now I'm looking for something called the House of Journey. And it should be around here somewhere, in fact. There we are. The House of Journey. There we go. How do we get in? this it? No, that's a restaurant. Apparently it is on the first floor. Look at it all. Is this it? Have a reservation? Yes, what's your name? Scott. Five nights? Five nights, yeah. So I made it to the hostel, the journey of home, I think that's called. And well, it's been an interesting journey. And the hostel is pretty good actually. I'm in a four bed, which I was surprised at because I thought I was in an eight bed. There's uh, that's me there, no one above me yet. I've got two English guys over here. And yeah, it looks a little bit kind of rougher than uh, the pictures on the website, but that doesn't matter because everything is absolutely spot on. No squeaks. Nice comfy bed. Lovely big blanket. And over here we have USB and or two USBs and a plug, English plug, and a night light. We have full control of the aircon, which is. Uh, well, I say full control, it's set at 23, that we can turn it on and off as often as we like, which is good because it doesn't uh, allow complete crazy people to set it at 15 or something like that. So, lockers there, they all work. I've just had a shower and the shower was absolutely beautiful. It was uh, just so good after being in the last place to have a really, really nice shower at the temperature to suit so yeah let's uh, give you the guide so well. turn them off all the rooms are named after capital cities we're in the Zurich room opposite Berlin we have Oslo and here we have Paris and London you can see the actual hostels in a, an old Malaysian house the building's absolutely beautiful got a chill out room here not sure what's down there and toilets here yeah a couple of extra toilets and showers here here we have the madrid room you can basically do a 360 around the whole place more uh, showers here more showers down there and then we get a nice little 
outdoor area. Oh, well, it's actually covered, which is good because it looks like it's going to absolutely hammer again. And uh, more showers there. That's where I've just been. And this is the uh, reception area where I'm going to treat myself. Probably have still beer. Treat tea and coffee, which is nice. There's a bit of hot pot. Interesting. Hey. The best hostel in town. Just come out of my hostel and straight away we've got some street art. We're going to be seeing a lot of this. I'm pretty hungry and one of the dishes of Georgetown is char tile kale or something like that. And apparently this one is one of the good ones. So this is what I'm going to have, aren't you, Tetron? Right. All different kinds of broths, there's cockles, I can't see any sign on the prawns. And you can either get it with chicken, egg, duck egg or no egg. Oh, there are prawns. This is a really busy street in Georgetown. And it's just at the bottom here. And then at the other side is Lovely. Just all the bars and everything, so the hostel's in a great place, great location. Here we go then, my first char cow towel, or whatever it's called. When you actually watch him do it, he's just got it down to a tea. He does everything the exact same way, the same order, every time. A little bit of this sauce, then something else, then a bit of that sauce, then a bit of this sauce again. Same way every time, let's give this a go. It's incredibly hot in terms of heat, not spice. There's spice there, but it's not crazy. But what there is, is just, I went for the duck egg, and that's absolutely amazing. Oh wow. We've got big prawns in there. I'm not sure what that is. That could be tofu, I'm not sure. And there's cockles in there as well. Oh, it's bloody wonderful. Right next to uh, the guy I just bought from, is a place doing the same dish but with duck meat. I mean, look at this as well. In fact, this is what I saw earlier on, uh, char cow toy, it's only seven here. Char have fun, we've got all kinds of fish head bihun. Wow. I, I just eaten, but I'm just looking here. So. The reggae bar's still here, they've got an IPA on, bloody hell. Well, that's expensive. And this place, oh, the falafel place, it's still here. The falafel place, wow. I might have to come back and try some of that later. I tried this last time. This is the best falafel you'll find in Georgetown. Absolutely amazing. Still here. Three years ago I was here and it's, it's fantastic falafel. It's always good to have one nearby. So this is Love Lane then. And this is like kind of the main bar street in Georgetown. Well, at least this part of Georgetown anyway. They'll probably try to coax me in to each of the bars. And uh, yeah, this, uh, I'm all good mate, thank you. On the head nine, it's not too bad, nine. But yeah, they are small beers. Now, these are the happy hour prices as well. It's not cheap in Georgetown for alcohol. In fact, it's not cheap in Malaysia, to be honest. When you've been used to paying prices in, you know, Laos or Vietnam or Cambodia, and even Thailand. Thailand's not the cheapest. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite pricey. But there is a place, there's always a place, wherever you are, even in places like Singapore or Copenhagen, places that are expensive, there's always a place where you can get cheap drinks. And there is one here as well. And I'm hoping it's still open. I think it's down here. I don't remember walking down to a main road, so I'm going to go up here. And at the end of this street, there's a place called Anna Bangranza something or other, Enterprise. And it's the cheapest place in Georgetown for a drink. So that's where I'm heading now. It's a bit of a strange part of this. Uh, I'm not sure of the legality of it because it's more like an off license than a bar, but they just put tables out and people just come and sit in the streets. Anyway, you'll see it in a second because it's just around this corner. Is it open? Is it open? Well, it is. It's quiet though. What the hell? Antarabangsa Enterprise. 
when I've been here before, the tables have come all the way up here and there's been buskers here, there's been fire jugglers, there's been all sorts. Anyway, here we are. What's this all about? Good deal. Thank you. Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm going to pump this off.